Advanced Communication Satellite GSAT-6 will be launched from Sri Harikota this evening through cryogenic GSLV rocket. The launch slated at 4.52 p.m. today is part of an ongoing process to test areas mastery of cryogenic engine technology which is necessary to put heavy-duty satellites in space. The fifth developmental flight of GSLV being readied for launch at ISRO spaceport in Sri Harikota, 100 kilometers from Chennai. The GSLV will be carrying an indigenously developed cryogenic upper stage for the third time, 18 months after it recorded its first successful flight in January 2014. The mission is part of a process to validate complex cryogenic technology that's currently the preserve of an allied club, including the US, Russia, China, France, Japan and the European Space Agency. ISRO has used Russian cryogenic engines in GSLV flights from 2001, but had to create its own version after the US successfully mounted pressure against the transfer of technology. Cryogenic engines make use of hydrogen and oxygen, liquefied at temperatures of up to minus 253 degrees, to power space rockets carrying payloads above 2 tons into an Earth orbit of up to 36,000 kilometers and can prove especially valuable for interplanetary missions. The GSLV will be carrying an advanced communication satellite GSAT-6, which will be providing SNC band services for strategic users. Its 6-meter antenna, the largest ISRO has ever built, will enable direct voice and data links between handheld devices like mobiles via satellite. Applications include disaster management and communication services in remote regions. The success of GSLV D6 will go a long way in proving that the indigenous cryogenic engine is ready for commercial use, opening up a lucrative new global market for space launches estimated at 4 billion US dollars for India. Philip Matthews, Doordarshan News, Chennai. Well, the flood situation